You received a call from an inmate at the Department of Corrections. This call will be recorded and monitored. If you wish to block any future calls of this nature, dial 7 now. To accept this call press 5 now. To decline this call hang up. Well hello cat. Oh yeah, yeah I definitely heard the news. You know, we can we can say what we want and do what we want and, and impose all the laws in the world, but people are going to commit crimes. And it's a shame that a person will go to prison, serve out his time, and then go back. It's just, it's, it blows my mind. But that's reality. That's part of being human. Yeah, it was uh, it was one of those things where I guess uh, being on the outs was just too much pressure for, her and she, you know, she just succumbed. I, there, and, and, you know, you of all people would know what uh, could cause a person to relapse and and uh, end up back in prison, and you know, I. I try sometimes to put a little bit of order. I know if a person is is busy, you know, a person could get out of prison and uh, have a tough time finding things, uh, gathering a foothold. But if there's a support team there that will guide them, I think it's easier because you go from an area where you're told what to do out to where you're expected to do everything and even though you get the lessons and the and the uh you do go through the scenarios of job interviews and applying for positions it can be overwhelming to get out there and the military is the same way you go from an area where you're free and and carefree and and uh you have all the control in the world and then you're in an environment where you're forced to do what you're told the difference is in the military you're told because if we go to war you need to follow instruction and uh in prison you follow instruction is to keep from an infraction and if you disagree with it the infraction may just be worth it well yeah, I, I, I know. I, I, I know we we should be thinking that way, and uh, you, you look at the consequences, and you don't want to choose it. I mean, prison shouldn't be a nice place that the people get out there and say, "Well, I, I messed up, and so I'm going to go back to prison. I'll be with my friends, and I'll be able to." Uh, yeah, yeah. She she does. She definitely knew better, and she was getting. She had a good job, and but I noticed that she would go through a lot of different relationships, and I think that really took a toll. But I'd have to talk to her, and I'm going to reach out to her. I really don't want to bring that up because I'm sure it's a, a very tough thing to talk about but maybe maybe this next time around she just needs to be sat down and told what to do and I've tried that on a few times you know you need to go to this job interview and the people just didn't want to do it of course they'd end up back in prison and one of the reasons is because they just can't comply. They can't follow orders. They can't uh, set out a goal or a game plan. But you have 60 seconds remaining. Maybe with this one, we can do it. Maybe, uh, maybe you guys can talk with her. Maybe when she gets out, we can uh, just sit down and set up a game plan. And, uh, I, I, I think, too, when people have somebody they can trust, it's easier to, to talk things out. And women are famous for that. You guys can sit down over a couple of You have 30 seconds remaining. And talk about just about anything, private or public, and, and work stuff out. Well, yeah, I know. 
that, well, men like to just come to conclusions. Women can talk them through. But we'll we'll see what we can do on this one. And you definitely need to uh, just stay strong. That, that's it. And we'll and we'll we'll stick with this together. Yep, it's up to her. Thank you for using inmate call. Goodbye. Hello, welcome to a QS inmate call, and I'm your host Joel Wilborn, and this is a revisiting the crime motivator. The one thing that we tend to get misled by and get caught up in that that one force that causes us to defy all logic and just go out and commit crimes and once again I, w- I want to emphasize we by nature are driven toward doing what's wrong it, it's like uh, being born with sin and it's just something we do when you uh, see a person who, let's say, uh, finds a wallet, and then without taking anything out of the wallet and without um, destroying anything, you know, just taking the wallet the way it was found, and going out of his way to find out who owns the wallet and get it back to him, that's unusual. That's not human behavior. We expect folks to find money and keep it, to uh, look out for themselves before anybody else. That's that's just human nature, and and social media is uh, is giving people an opportunity just to be themselves. And I'm I'm looking at both sides of it because I like to go on social media and I like to promote good stuff. I like to promote um, law-abiding actions and gambling. Uh, just good, clean entertainment. But recently I, I saw one where a person came on and was just criticizing one of the political parties in the United States. And um, it was just it was shocking to hear that. But that's something that he could do. If he wants to sit there and just criticize people and call them stupid for believing that, it's one of those things that in the political world they try to dominate their their belief. You believe differently from me, so I'm going to criticize you. And they're in essence criticizing themselves because they become what they're criticizing. And that's, I find that really humorous. So I I look at that and I just think, wow, listen to this guy. He's just going on and on and on about how stupid this other party is. And yet, he's doing things that nobody nobody wants to be that way. It's just like the, the, the word advice that you can give to people. It's like when you see somebody that you just don't like, they're they're just rude, obnoxious, and and they, they're very selfish and you just don't want to be around them. And you can just say, I'm thankful I'm not like that. And he's one of those. I'm thankful I'm not like him. And uh, it gives us a chance to see how good we are or how good other people are. And it, and it shows us the difference between what we like and what we don't like. And I watched his whole video. I've watched a lot of those videos and read all those articles because I like to hear their their side. And then, you know, if I'm on uh, social media and they're giving responses, I like to hear the responses. And they're just like, you're stupid. No, you're stupider. Oh, you're dumb. Oh, you're crazy for believing this. Oh, you follow this person. And you should. And it's just, it's just crazy. But being in the United States, we can do that. And I know I keep hearing things like, it's like it's supposed to be this terrible thing. 
it, let's, I'll just change the names here. Let's, let's say that person says, um, you like ice cream. And uh, you should be ashamed of yourself because you like ice cream. Now let's turn that into racist. You're a racist. You should be ashamed of yourself for being a racist. There's nothing wrong with liking ice cream. There's nothing wrong with being a racist. If that's what people believe, fine. You're not going to agree with everything everybody says. And there's not a country that has ever existed where everybody thinks the same way. Imagine living in a country like that. Where, let's say, let's go back to Nazi Germany. And let's say that the people were into the um, Nazism. Every German thought that way. Every German didn't like a certain race, a certain religion, you know, and a certain manner of living, a certain country, and they just wanted everybody on the planet to think like them. Now, I don't see how that's even humanly possible. Even in books of fiction, they don't do that very often. But if everybody had thought that way, I don't know, maybe they would have been more successful as a country, maybe they would have been able to take over the world, but when you take over another country, like when Germany, or Nazi Germany, will say, invaded France, they can't expect to convert all the French people to think the way they think, there's going to be those that are rebels. They can't expect all the Polish people, all the Russian people, all the American people, all the, the English people. They can't. It, that's something when you walk out and you and you see a person come down the street, you can't say, I'm going to convince that person to think exactly the way I think. By the end of the day, I'm going to have that done. Or by the end of our life, I'm going to have that done. That, that's a goal that just can't be reached. And so... Uh, one of the things I like is the, the Constitution of the United States. And so if, if there's a violation of that Constitution, then I'm opposed to it because I, I believe that that was well written. It's been around for centuries and, and it's working for us. And to go out and, and say you're a racist, that, okay, I'll say that. But it doesn't mean I want that person not to be a racist. And, and what if the person says, okay, I'm not? But secretly is just doing it for public appearance, and it it just won't work. <laughs> it just shocks me. But the fact that people say that for me, I hear it. I learn a little bit about the person. I move on. If I like what the person says, that doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily follow the person and. and and give great praise to this person. It's just like, that's your opinion, and that's what you you like. And then there's people that are going to oppose that. And in this, in this criminal world, we gravitate toward crime. And uh, I like to work with folks, and I don't always agree with what the people do. And... With me being diverse, you know, I like driving down the road and seeing a pride flag, a German flag, an American flag, even Confederate flag. I don't care. But if they violate the Constitution or state and local laws, then I, 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 I'm concerned about that. I don't like when laws are broken. And I think we need a good justice system to... Uh, give fair justice to people who break the law. But I don't think we should go overboard. I don't think we should alienate people. We have to accept the fact that people are going to do that. And and in order to stop the crime, we're going to have to convince the person who is committing the crime that it would be better not to commit the crime. But this person has to be convinced. You can't force a person to it. You can't lock a person up for 20 years or whatever and expect them to come out a better person. You know, we've got innocent people sitting in prison. 
innocent people and they're still condemned because everybody who's locked up in prison should be there and don't deserve to be out here with the rest of us. That's the general mentality. Why Why we think that way? I don't know. We're never going to stop crying if we keep condemning people. Everybody makes mistakes. Like one of my videos, uh, she said, the only difference between you and me is that I got caught. And I like that phrase. It, it shows that you're not better than me. I just made a bad decision and I'm locked up for it. She got out and she's still out. She hasn't gone back to prison. She hasn't committed any crimes. And that's her choice. And in this world too, there's people who don't commit crimes and go to prison, but technology catches up. There's those who get caught because of new technology and there's those who get released because of new technology. Marianne Atkins has an opportunity to have her case reviewed. She can't have the Innocence Project look at her because she's guilty and she admits it. But 19 years for defending herself is wrong. And so uh, let's, let's accept the fact that there's people out there who are just going to commit crimes. That, that's life. There's people that's going to disagree with us and there's people that's just going to uh, not care. That's human nature. That's who we are. And I'm hoping people will accept differences. And that's something that should be sh- stressed in school. Instead of saying, you know, those who uh, lean toward the Constitution stand over here. Those who lead toward uh, certain religions get over here. And, and, you know, as you're adding things to it, you'll see people can cross the, the room into different groups. You know, those who believe in God and then those who believe in Constitution, they can cross, cross paths. Or those who believe that, uh, you know, gays and uh, bisexuals and should have rights just like everybody else they could cross in into the the path of those who believe in a strong military force or who believe in uh, racial equality and and it's interesting how we have a lot in common and we can sit down like at a book club and talk about one book and not anything else and have a really good time but if somebody starts mentioning uh, I don't know certain historical inaccuracy then it could cause a debate and I like debating it, it's it's fun and usually when I walk away nobody's mind has changed it's just I'm a little bit wiser I know a little bit more about the person I was debating with and I learned something about myself too I, I encourage learning I, I, I gravitate toward it but there's those who just don't want to talk about it. And if I sit down with somebody and I want to start talking politics and the person says, no, no, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going to continue to do that because this person doesn't want to talk about politics. To me, the word no is not a bad thing. If I ask a person, you know, one of my guests, you know, would you like some more tea? And the person says no, I'm not going to be insulted. Why? I ask if the person wanted teeth and the answer was no I got what I wanted and my guest got what he wanted and um, I, I live a comfortable life but that's not to say I won't be arrested and go to prison that's not to say that um, if I put a flag up in my front yard somebody's going to come by and tear it down there's, there's just going to be opposition and that's why we have laws and we should support our law we should support our law enforcement and we should have a fair and just judicial system so we can we're not going to completely eliminate innocent people from going to prison but we can at least cut it down and we can 
cut down in prison, people going to prison, especially those that we already know about. You know, this young lady got out, she failed, she went back to prison. Why condemn her? Why say you're a career criminal, you just keep going back to prison, which is something I say when I'm trying to prove a point. But we, we shouldn't try teaching in that to our our family and our children because it's human nature to do the crimes and they're just not motivated enough not to and that could be a breakdown in society people get out I mean look at these these crimes where the people in groups run into a store and just start grabbing things and then running out they're not doing that because they'll, they'll go to prison. They're doing that because they feel that they're going to get away with it. They feel that the risk is worth it. And if we lock up every single person that does that, it's not going to stop them from doing it. But we can at least show these people that there are better ways to do things. Set an example. And uh, maybe work on ways on on increasing security or or surveillance or or, uh, you know, it's just like you don't see that happen on a military base. Somebody just runs onto the base and grabs stuff and runs back off. Runs and grabs ammunition or something like that. Because it's a secure area, and they'll go into the police department, break into the evidence room. So there's, uh, you know, there, there, there's things that can deter people. You know, if they're like certain cars are broken into, if you have a, a, a one of those lock bars and put it on the steering column, then uh, if a person looks through the window and sees that on the steering column they know they can't take that car but we always have to be aware that there's going to be somebody out there that does that it's just that's just that and i and i hope we can accept people for who they are there's going to be people that commit crimes and there's going to be people who don't and we can't gravitate toward the people that don't condemn and criticize the ones that do because What's that lead them? Do you want to raise a child that you keep telling them you're stupid, you're dumb, you you disagree with everything that I'm that I'm talking about? Then uh, how do we expect this person to want to fit in with everybody else? You know, the people who dress differently from us, who speak differently from us, who uh, believe in different things from us, we can learn from them. And who knows? Maybe they're the ones that convince us to change a little bit. But I do hope that you uh, speak with your family, speak with your friends, uh, find common ground, and respect differences. And understand that not everybody is going to be able to make the decision that you may make on committing a crime. You know, whereas you might see something that's a perfect opportunity to go in and snatch it and leave, you may choose not to. But somebody else may not have that strength and may do it. And it's more like if people realize that the real winner here is the people who accept us for our our differences and are willing to listen and understand why we think the way we think or they think the way they think, we can get a little bit closer to peace. And uh, I hope that you will understand that uh, the only way to to, uh, heal our society is to accept our differences. And um, if we have that communication open and respect people like that, we can move forward. And change begins with you. 
you look in that mirror, that person looking back at you is the one who can make a difference. You don't have any control over the people around you, but you do have control over yourself. And as long as you do what you feel is in the best interests of yourself and you stay within the law, nobody has the right to stop it. And that's pretty much the law across the country. You're a law-abiding citizen. You shouldn't be bothered for anything. And if that's your your lifestyle, that's what you choose. Go for it. And um, set a good example for those around you. People, if people want to be like you, then it's a tough it's a tough uh, role to play. But it gets easier the more you do it. And. Uh, there are times you're going to be tempted to, and there are going to be other times you'll fall. We're not perfect, and that's what makes us special. Well, thanks for tuning in, and go out and have yourself a wonderful day, and make beautiful memories for tomorrow.